Um, that's water. Yee! Might be wind. I don't remember. Certainly not a win. Well, there's the road monster. Ha! Huh. There's some variety here. Like, look at that. Really? Nothing? Hmm. Okay, we painted one. Now we will use Hurricane to hit all of them. Oh, and we petrified one. Two! We petrified two of them! Ah, oh, that's a great roll. That is rough. Okay, you know, I'm gonna focus on killing the other ones first, I think. We can deal with the life stealer after. After its helpers are gone. Let's see, your weakness water and wind. So let's do this. And let's That's not actually that much slowing down, is it? Hmm. 
Please don't do that. Not now. <sighs> Damn it. What a pain in the butt. Seriously? Come on! Not now. Okay, you need a lot of healing. That's not going to cut it. Mm. That should. But sure enough, it turned around to target Joshua again. What a terrible monster. And it's almost fully healed again! Mmm. Okay, we almost have it. Uh, you need to heal again, Joshua. Let's go with... And now you need to heal, but you can use magic. Okay, I have a free crit here, so... Okay, I think we got it. That was a little that was a little rough going for a while there. What? No! R okay. We didn't get hit by it exploding. Well, I can definitely afford You know what? <laughs> We're turning around. I want to go buy Evasion 3, and I want to go heal. So we're going to go do both of those things. How much money do I have, actually? Okay, I have enough to use, use the hotel. I must have one of those. Ah. I've had people run off with Sepeth now, and or with Quartz now, and I'm not sure who has what. It's kind of annoying. Okay, I don't think Estelle's getting any new magic doing this, but it increases her, well, 
evasion, so... I feel like this never does anything. Plasma wave. That sounds cool. Okay, I need eight to get Aerostorm. I only have five. No, wait. Don't I have eight? I have a five and I have a three. Why can this... Hmm. Maybe I do have Aerostorm now. And I just didn't notice that. Oh, wait. Okay. I mean, as long as I'm back here, I may as well cash in the, the road monster I just did. I don't think I can do anything with the money, but... Why not? Oh! We ranked up! Oh, that was totally worth it. Gridlock it. What does it do? Grail lock it. Prevents all abnormal status. Oh, that is that is amazing. Yes, yes. Put it on now. Let's see. I can put a defense booster on here now, or I could make my attacks elemental based, which I don't really want to do. So I guess we'll just do the work gloves for now. You know what? I don't think I need the rest here. I do think I should use some of this though. Yeah, like, that's probably fine. I'm not gonna fight. Unless the fort turns out to be a dungeon, I'm probably not gonna do that much fighting. So that'll probably be fine. I think it was still worthwhile to come back, though. In fact, if anything, I should probably make more food. something over here. There's definitely something very strange going on. Thank goodness, everything finally seems to be back to normal. Still, won't stop in the spe stop in the inspection so soon have an effect on the investigation. I'm certainly not privy to the military thinking, but it does worry me a little. Hmm. 
Welcome, have a seat. I don't know why, but all inspections have stopped. I wonder. Okay. I wanted to see if I could rest for free at the port. <laughs> I'm so glad I got in all right. Hmm. Yeah, that seems strange. Very strange. Well, surely there's nothing out here, but I do want to check on the the roof of the set the central roof. If I can even get up, no, I'm sure I can. I just don't remember how. Oh, right here. Okay then. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I thought there might have been a cross section here for the book, but clearly there is not. Okay then. Well, let's let's he let's head over to the fort. I don't want... I mean... Okay, so... We know there's probably a spy in the military, right? But... Like, there's no way the whole military is in on it, right? primary base of the counter-offensive in the war ten years ago. Nothing. It's just that you're not acting your usual timid self. You're starting to remind me of Dad. Oh, come on. It's not like I'm not nervous. But after General Morgan, how bad can it be? Wait, is there... Okay, there's nothing over here. What? A... No. Okay. In we go. That is strange. There should def... There should at least be... Yeah, exactly. There should be at least be a gatekeeper outside. Mm-hmm. 
Are you actual bracers then? Indeed, you appear to be the genuine article. However, I regret to inform you that the CEO of this base is currently away. Perhaps you can come back another day. In that case, anyone with the intelligence division will be fine. We have information that must go to either Colonel Richard or Captain Amalthea. Very well. Wait there. Forgive me for making you wait. Major Sit. <laughs> but we're not playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> I am Major Sid, garrison commander of the Letson Fortress. Is something wrong? Nothing. Pardon me. On to business. You mentioned the attack on the Central Labs. I'm very sorry, but no one from the Intelligence Division is currently here. If you have a message, I can deliver it for you. Hmm, that could be a problem. Well, this is the truth. So... I need to be found a lead on the airship that took away the professor. You what? What? Why do you look so surprised, Major? Oh, it's nothing. We've just been searching for it, too. This... this is Leston Fortress, is it not? How did you get this picture? Now, now, no need to get worked up. Look at the top right corner of that picture. What?! That's obviously not the silhouette of a military patrol ship, is it? And it's the splitting image of the airship that took away the professor. Indeed, this is a grave matter. Thank you for your cooperation. I'll send a report to the Intelligence Division right away. Why would the suspect ship be hanging around here? It's embarrassing to admit but I'm afraid it's entirely my fault. We've been aggressively searching along the border, so security wasn't as tight at home as it should have been. And if their ship fled to the north, it's possible that the whole matter may have been a plot by the Empire. I'd like to know just one thing. Where, exactly, are all of the intelligence personnel right now? That's classified. I'm sorry, I cannot say more. Faith smells very funny. Oh, the Black Orb Man is here! It, it seems I've let you see us at our worst. It looks like the gate mechanism isn't at, in its best conditions. Maybe you could get some folks from the Central Labs out to repair it. I'll bet someone like Professor Russell could have it good as new in no time flat. You two maintain post here until it's back in working order. Be sure to keep any careless civilians away. That said, you two can be on your way. I'll be certain to take that photograph to intelligence. Now, if you'll pardon me. Okay, well, I just wanted to talk to you, but fine. 
probably we need to go back to town, pick up Tita and a gate. For now, let's get back to Zeiss and see what Kilika has to say. If we have the chance, we can call for the lab chief. Okay, it's not going to make me walk back. I can't believe that Professor Russell's at the fortress. Are you absolutely certain? Miss Dorothy's photograph and the shutdown of the Oracle power in the gate. These two things combined make the conclusion inescapable. Hmm. It's not as if the internal command structure of the military is all run by a single entity. The people who attacked the fortress were seen escaping. And they look like real guardsmen. That in itself is a clue. Are they... I mean... It's not unrelated. Are they behind it or are they being set up? I feel like they're being set up. But... I don't have any, any evidence to support that. If they are being set up, then it's a... Well, it's not so outside the realm of possibility. But I... Okay. They are being set up. But... Hmm. Sounds like you found a lead on our friendly neighborhood criminals. Okay, you've been standing there the whole time. Don't pretend you just came inside. Are you okay with moving around so soon? I feel pretty much back to normal. I said I'm fine. I've been training for years. It's not that rough on someone like me. Alright, alright, I get it. I won't overdo it or anything until I'm back to normal. That's cool with you. Yeah. Mm hmm I wouldn't have thought those goons in the black clothes were army types either. <laughs> and suddenly I'm feeling better than ever. What say we go and settle our debts right now? Ain't it obvious? We sneak into the fortress. We'll bust the professor out, and they'll never know what hit him. The Bracer Guild has a long-standing policy of non-intervention when it comes to a nation's military. Article 3 of the Guild Code. Bracers and non-involvement in the military or political matters. A Bracer will recognize the nation's sovereignty and may not interfere with nor arrest any person of national, military, or political standing. Or to put it more simply, as long as the army is playing dumb, our hands are tied. You know, that's not strictly true. We can't arrest them, but that doesn't mean we can't sneak in and make away with the professor. Essentially, yes. There is, however, a loophole. Bracers and their duty to the people. In the event of an unjust impairment of citizens, the Bracer's sworn duty is to bear the responsibility for the citizens' safety. In this case, we are obliged to oppose the Royal Army and save Professor Russell. Will you help us? No need to thank me. I owe Professor Russell for all he's taught me.
security check. Neat. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's a show will be fine. Sure enough, there's the seal. to be in order. Now will it let me go this way. Okay, off we go. Okay, let's go to the wolf fort next. I swear if that thing... Okay, well, you know what. One thing at a time. Don't get ahead of myself. Damn straight we are. Okay. be in a town, but... Oh! I wasn't paying close enough attention to where I was going! <laughs> Whoopsie.
Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This away. I th I think it would be kind of silly if the book is also if the second book is also in this town. But but I'm kind of not sure where else it could be. to read that the liberal news <laughs> okay we will just after I finish talking to people wait a second okay Okay, let's let's read the let's read this before I forget again. <clears throat> According to an announcement made by the Royal Army Intelligence Division, a terrorist attack occurred at the Zeiss Central Factory. Concrete details remain scarce, but the smoke canisters deployed by the criminals caused a temporary state of panic. After the incident, residents witnessed whoops, soldiers dressed in blue uniforms exit the building. The Royal Army has expanded checks and is currently tracking the phony soldiers' movements. Relating to the blue uniforms reported at the scene, several witnesses have indicated that they were the uniforms worn by the Royal Guard. The Intelligence Division has avoided making any statements regarding the matter, but if this information proves to be true, the implication could affect the entire Royal Army. We will carefully follow this situation as it develops in the near future. In the evening, two days prior to the incident, an unusual phenomenon occurred within the city of Zeiss which caused all ordnance to black out temporarily. The Royal Army is investigating whether or not there is any connection to the recent terrorist attack. Uh, the perpetrator's objective in this latest terrorist incident is still unclear at this time. Liberal News has therefore compiled some theories being bandied about in connection with the incident. Theory 1. The Imperial forces were behind the incident in order to get their hands on the Central Factory's technology. This theory suggests that a mercenary force like the Jaeger Corps was used to carry out the attack. Insurrection An insurgency was carried out by a part of the Royal Army, and in order to send a shockwave across the kingdom, this same group sought to occupy the factory. However, without any prior incident from the military, this theory does not seem plausible. Theory 3 a rather odd theory by a group of researchers that purports that an ancient dragon living within the mountainous regions attacked the factory. This theory may be best addressed by returning to it in a few weeks to see if any verifiable evidence has been left behind. Um, the Annenberg Wall, the last line of defense during the Hundred Days War which protected the royal city from the invading Imperial Army. This wall, likened into a protective shell encompassing the whole of Grantsil, is one of several ancient ruins scattered across the kingdom. If one were to climb atop the ramparts from both the Gurune and Sanctine gates, one might just be able to feel the wisdom of the ancients through that majestic structure. Hmm. This time I will be introducing a hotel rather than an inn. The hotel of which I speak the Robom boasts the highest pedigree in the entirety of the Liberal Kingdom. This hotel stands next door to Grantsa Castle, a location only 
a location other establishments can only dream of, and is a few minutes walk from Grantle's East Block. If one intends to fully enjoy the annual festivities, then this is one of the places that should not be left off your list, and especially for those celebrities from all walks of life. By all means, take this opportunity to experience this critically acclaimed service. Neat. Okay, well. We found nothing. So, let's, let's head for the... Let's, let's do the thing. Wait, actually, there's one more thing I want to check. I feel like this is pretty unlikely to be where it is. But it came to mind. Oh wait, never mind. I was not where I thought I was. Okay then. Um hmm. Right, let's just get onto the ship. Let's get Metal Gear up in this place. We can figure out the library thing a bit, little bit later. And if I'm being very honest, I might just end up looking up the library scavenger hunt because I, look, I don't have patience for that particular thing. It's, it's too obtuse and the place is pretty big. What? Oh, right, I need to actually pick up the stupid bioscanner blocker. finished my preparations. Now, what I am about to show you is not to be spoken of to anyone else. Okay. Main gate, landing port. Landing port connects to the main gate through a hallway. There's a watchtower in the same area and a wharf. Uh, so every potential entrance is controlled within the same central corridor. Uh, once you go into the courtyard, there's the command center and the barracks and the research wing. Then the armory is like way in the back. Uh, considering that, that how the gate was effective, it. Probably, I think he's being kept in the command center. <coughs> the guild has ways of obtaining information. It's best that you do not know. <coughs> <coughs> the Bracers Guild is a much more complex organization than it may appear, and you would do well to remember that. I don't think I need to remind you that this is an exceptionally unique case. Relations between the army and the guild have traditionally been excellent in Libra, 
even relative to other surrounding nations. It is absolutely critical that we not cause any ill will. The guild cannot afford hostilities with the army. Legally, I should not entrust the task of this to junior bracers. I thought you might say that, and I don't intend to stand in your way. But it must be said that you answer to his ice. As such, if force comes to work, I will accept full responsibility for your actions. You needn't worry. Now then, Tita, since you're not a bracer, I have no authority over you. But you are- are you truly set on your course? I mean, she does have a missile launcher, a gate. Alright, enough. Listen up. Why are you so damn stubborn? Do you want to run that by me again? Tita's ready. She said she wants to help. And her help will make it easier for us to sneak in. All that improves our chances of getting the professor out safely. I want to know why you're so against it now of all times. I don't like it any more than you do, but we'll keep her safe. We're bracers. That's our job. Damn you, a gate! <sighs> well, anyway. I've been waiting for you. Is everyone ready? Yes. You were lucky that last minute military order came through like that. We were just about to head out to Lepson Fortress. We can take off at any time. gratuitous for something that can go straight up and down, but I love it all the same. Like, there is no world where it is not easier to just make another another, like, a uh, ramp to the other platform, but I still love it.
We are ready. Ish. We're ready enough. You can count on us. <laughs> There's big trouble brewing. If one of my editors told me things true, I wanted to let them know before they left. Well, this is totally off the record. But it seems some members of the Royal Guardsmen in Grenzel were just arrested for treason. Okay, I am... Yeah, I think Joshua... Joshua is probably right that the Royal Guardsmen are being set up now. Because... Just... Mmm. Mmm. I've, I've said this before, but I really love the, the captain's chair here. Le With just a ton of pipes going to it so you can shout orders to different parts of the ship, it's great. See your combat ornament. I'll just run a quick diagnostic on it. I guess we can rest in here? No? Well, hmm. Oh, there we go. I already went out here, didn't I? those men in black that were manipulating the mayor of Ruan behind the scenes? If we can learn more about them, we might be able to get a solid lead. Not to mention why Dad disappeared. Well, while we're saving the professor, we can look around for clues. Fine, you really don't have to worry. If you really want to worry about someone, worry about yourself. Now's the time to back out if you still want to. <laughs> um, 
Well, it's really scared me out of my mind. But I have Joshua and Estelle with me, and you're here too. Not being alone makes it easier, so I don't have to think about how scared I am. Anyway, try not to wor- just wit- Eh. Try not to worry. Ah, uh, I, um, you called me that when you were poisoned. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Nah, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. Mishka's my kid's sister. Well, sorta. I guess she'd be around your age. Work keeps me busy. I only go home about once a year. I just think that if I had a big brother, I'd want to be with him all the time. I think Mishka's dead. That's what this is sounding like. That music sounds so ominous, I love it. I'm all done with disguising the container. If you just open it up, all you'll see are these plates that are used for fixing ship halls. But there's another door on the side and you can't tell it's there when it's closed. That seems a little rough. Ooh, healing spot. Major Sid, I'm here as per your request. The Royal Military is one of my best customers. You folks are always a priority. Not to mention, the order sounded pretty urgent. Oh, nothing significant. Just your usual military matters. Ah oh, yes, I heard about the attack on the central labs. I've recently come into possession of a clue which may help us wrap up this matter. No, you can relax on that score. It seems the abductors are demanding a ransom for the professor's safe return. That would suggest that he's unharmed, so I don't think that's a concern. I trust you, but regulations must be adhered to. Well, he actually called them grunts. So 
Surround the container! Oh, the cat snuck aboard! It's not that I don't understand what you're getting at, but it's not the place for a soldier to question the orders of a superior officer. Besides, you never know who's watching or listening. Discretion is a must at all times. <clears throat> Major, I have an intel to report. Captain Amalthea has come and wishes to speak to with you, sir. to check out the wharf, but I feel like he's probably in the command center or possibly the research wing. In fact, no, I'm going to make a snap decision. He's probably in the research wing. that dog. Ooh. Okay, this is the command wing. So, this should be the research wing. The men in black It's like a window or something. Um, well, I mean, there is a window. It has bars on it. <gasps> I really can't thank you enough, Professor Russell. Your work in on finding the means of controlling this gospel is of great help. On behalf of the Intelligence Division, I extend my deepest gratitude. Hm. I should have known that you were behind all this. 
Colonel Richard, Chief of Intelligence. Hard to believe you once served under Cassius. Ah, yes. You and he were friends, weren't you? We've been looking for him, actually, although we've yet to pin down his location. If you have some idea of where to base a search, we'd be happy to have that information. If perhaps chance, the gospel were to have been delivered into his hands, then I'm afraid it would, prese would have presented a problem. However, even if he were to show his face now, he would have no means of stopping this current. I imagine my source would rather their identity be kept a secret. Our intentions, well, they will become evident very soon. At that time, Professor, we'll be happy to release you. All I ask is that you wait. I leave the particulars up to your fertile imagination. That said, come the dawn when everything is realized, you will assist in our research. This invention will bring liberal riches like none ever before seen. T t Captain Amelia, it looks like your renowned powers of persuasion are not as elegant as they once were. One might say she has a unique sense of humor. I don't want any misunderstandings between us, but you must understand that we are only soldiers. You have my word that no civilians will be involved. Save your for yourself, of course. There's been activity in Grenzel. The white wings were caught in the net, just as planned. Now, Professor, if you'll please excuse me. Major Sid, see to the Professor and make sure he's comfortable. Is there anything you need, Professor? I'll get you set up with any of the standard amenities. My apologies. But y you've been abducted by rebels, you see. Rebels against the Queen. Nameless, unknown rebels. Stress that fact. And I might even let you write a letter to your granddaughter. He has the Black Orphaned as well. That can't be good. We can expose him and save the... Hmm. If we rescue the professor, then we should be able to throw a wrench into his plans by exposing his plot before he's ready to completely set it off. If, at this point, it feels like it'll be too late to stop him from doing it, but we can at least make it harder, put more obstacles in his way with the Royal Guard and such. I'm sure Gate is looking forward to this. Uh, Joshua. Uh, 
they are completely separated. That's a little bit annoying. A, a game? Okay, yes, good. Move closer together. And for that matter, shoot a gate. He can take it, and he has, needs to gain the most CP. <laughs> I can imagine no world where Tita's freaking cannon is cool. Is quick and well, no, it could definitely be quick, but it is certainly not quiet. <laughs> okay, um, I am a little bit concerned that Tita might get shot here. Okay, she is- whoa! I mean... This isn't gonna go off. I want- I- I, I want the extra stuff. <laughs> oh no, you missed! Tita was not doing great with hitting things in that battle. Uh, first though, I really feel like I should heal. That should be good. Yeah, let's uh, let's get out of here. I think I think Cassius has a gate down to a T. Um, Professor, we have to save the explanations for later. For now, we need to get out of here. I've been using that in my research to find a means of controlling the black or orbit. I wasn't able to discern a, its physical composition. But I did have some success with the, the control method, which means that these fools will be able to cause that phenomenon to reoccur whenever they want. I'm sorry, Estelle and Joshua. I hate that it's being so grievously misused. After you went through all the trouble of bringing it to me. Has presumably, yep, there it is. That's a lot of soldiers.
Okay, so... Will we be able to reach the dock? Let's go to the barracks. Never mind. seem to be anything in here. Hmm. Oh? Oh. I recognize you. Hey, do you think it's awfully noisy outside? Kapu West Sky Bandits. They hijacked that airliner. It sounds like though, like they were probably under control of the intelligence division. fun little detour. No, I didn't want it, but I guess it didn't actually help. Hmm. Uh-oh. I bet it's Cassius. I feel like I feel like it is. Oh, it's the major. I'm very sorry about that. He's already seized control of the Royal Army Forces by using his position in the Intelligence Division. And the main generals were given the choice of obeying him or being in prison. General Morgan refused to obey him, and as such is currently imprisoned at the Hacken Gate.
Unfortunately, observance of military regulations has been breaking down ever since the end of the war, particularly since the top brass haven't stopped embezzling and accepting bribes. Colonel Richard just took advantage of the situation. With General Morgan in custody, that leaves Colonel Richard as the man in charge of the entire armed forces. Mysteriously enough, Queen Alicia has kept silent on the matter. The Royal Guardsmen are actually being sought for questioning on suspicion of treason. The attack on the Central Factory has been pinned on the Guardsmen. The... Uh... I don't really know what to tell you. You never disobey a direct order from the superior officer. But since I never voiced my objections, the fault still lies with me. I know this will not make up for all I have done, but I was hoping I, it would go some way to atoning for my actions. emergency escape hatch leads to an underground aqueduct. There's a boat set up there, so you should be able to use it to escape. Legally, even my telling civilians about this would put net me 10 years in prison. But even if military regulations won't forgive me, I think ideas probably will. I heard your last name. After all, you are the children of Colonel Cassius, are you not? Richard may be a colonel now, but he served under your father back in those days. Your dad was a real hero. It was thanks to his efforts that we were able to defeat Arbonia in the war ten years ago. Being as you're his children, I'm not surprised that you found out the truth and came to help the professor. And away we go! We can't be- we haven't fought a boss yet though. I feel like we can't be done in Zeiss yet, you know? division knows my face all too well by now. Same goes for Tita and the old man, but they have no idea you two are involved under old Sid's, unless old Sid laughs. So I'm getting out of here and taking them with me. We'll lay low for a while somewhere else. Ah, uh, Sid's not the only one who could laugh. <laughs> the fewer people implicated in this, the better. According to the theory of retreat and cover, the more people there are together, the greater the chance of detection. Which means that a gate will stand a better chance of helping them get away on his own. I understand how you must feel, 
But for now, we really need to do what Agate says. You don't agree, and I can see it written all over your face. So, how about I send you on an important mission instead, something I certainly can't do myself. First, I want you to go to Grantzel. Then, you must speak with Her Majesty, Queen Elysia, in Grantzel Castle. The aforementioned Black Orbman. It originally somehow fell into Colonel Richard's hands. He referred to it as the Gospel. Apparently, this gospel was taken from the Intelligence Division, but by whom I couldn't say. After that, I'd wager it was probably sent out in a package, addressed to Cossius. However, Intelligence caught wind of our little blackout from before. They must have realized the Black Orbit was involved and here in Zeiss. I suspect it was their true objective in attacking the factory. They came to retrieve this gospel. Colonel Richard has some kind of plan to use it in the capital. Unless I miss my guest, something very bad is coming. Her Majesty must be informed of this at once. I'm sorry. Anything more I say would be pure conjecture. Regardless, the Queen must be made aware of this gospel as soon as possible. I'm more concerned with that than with my own escape. Take care as well. Take care of Tita and the professor. Chapter three. End. I guess the penguin was the boss. I don't know. We did it though. We did it. <laughs> yes. Eight, I got worse injuries than that from shaving. <laughs> okay, I think I think now is a good time for me to stop. So I hope you all enjoyed, and until next time, have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.